Yo, check, check, one, two, three. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Rocco here. We're doing a new figure update. Uh, the iPhone wasn't cutting it. I got a more advanced rig this time. Better audio, better visual. I want the best quality possible for this figure update, obviously. So, uh, anyway, come with me. We're going to check this out. By the way, never mind the mess, both on my face and in the office. We're working on a very difficult project right now, and... It's all a mess. I mean, come with me, you'll see for yourself. Just go, don't mind that, don't pay attention to that. It's a mess in here. Everything's all strewn about. Launch PS3 on the couch, pizza on the floor. I mean, what are you gonna do? Anyway, all right. Uh, so here, let's say first things first. All right. Yeah, you know it, you knew it was coming. All right, first things up. Well, let me focus. White Ranger, in effect. There he is. You know him, you love him. The White Ranger. There it is. Uh, this is another anniversary figure that came out. You could see the oh, box is somewhere. All right, here it is. This was the box that it came in. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, anniversary edition, 20th anniversary, whatever that came out. Um, you could see the design of the box right there. Flip that around. There you go. It's a little companion to the uh, Armored Red Ranger that came out. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but there you go. And actually I have them like right back there somewhere. If you could see them. Anyway, uh, yeah, this just came out and actually uh, stuff like this never comes to the stores here in San Diego. I never can find any of this crap, uh, but I was up real late wor again, working on a secret project and I saw this go up on like walmart.com and I had a gift card there, so bam, I got it. Uh, from what I understand, um, some people ordered this, toysrus.com listed it, and people ordered it, and it wasn't even, this is so rare that no one really knows what it is yet, and people who ordered it ended up getting like random masks and shit. Seriously, like they were getting masks and like toy, like gloves and not the White Ranger. So piss on those guys. I did it right. Go to walmart.com. Anyway, these are like supposed to be Rangers with removable armor. But if you notice, if you remove the armor, these guys look way too roided out. Look at that. That looks ridiculous, right? I mean, I don't know why the US, you know, the United States of America, we feel like we need to be all like, you know, Stallone, you know, when if you look at the Japanese figures, look at this. These guys, that's real. That's legit. Look, this guy's thin. That's just the way it is. He doesn't need, you know, rippling biceps or whatever. Check it out. You know what I mean? He ain't ripped. Doesn't need to be. This guy ain't ripped. This guy ain't ripped. Who else is ripped? Mark Twain ain't ripped. Anyway. All right, so there's that. Uh, Fujita's kind of ripped. All right. So there's the White Ranger. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, it was only like 15 bucks. So you're going to get what you're going to get. Um, it's pretty big. Uh, good. You know, for an American figure, I like to get, I like to get the 20th anniversary OG Power Rangers. I like that. I dig that. Um, and that's that. But what I'm really looking forward to is the, uh, Figure Arts White Ranger, which you could see there. Uh, you know, it's the same series as these dudes. I'm wa I'm waiting for the ultra posable white ranger and the armored red ranger. Those are coming soon. Sorry to this armored red ranger back there. You're about to be replaced. I apologize. Anyway. All right. So there's that. Let's go down town. Oh, what are these? Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? Take a look. Take a look up close, buddy. Yeah. What up? Who do you, who, who do you know that has this? Who do you know? Report back to me if you know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, the Red Ranger, or uh, no, sorry, Red Ranger. Uh, Power Rangers 20th anniversary. Well, again, I have the box somewhere here. It's like anniversary stuff. You can see it for yourself. Whatever, you don't need that. All right. Uh, anniversary mask collection. Uh, it's all the helmets of the original team of Rangers. Uh, and, you know, a little plaque dedicated to them. Now, I had multiple people say things to me about this. Uh, everyone who's come into the office so far and seen this on the shelf, 
they've told me that it looks like the rangers all died and that these are like their mounted heads like i hunted them which i didn't think when i first saw but i think you know maybe they have a valid point i don't know you tell me is that creepy or not is that creepy for 20th anniversary you know what i mean is that creepy or what what do you think all right everybody uh that is that um we got all kinds of stuff i don't think there's anything else here oh shout out by the way shout out kevin uh who got me this uh picked this up for me actually i was looking for this at disneyland tiki room sippy cup yeah you can take a sip right out of it put you know put whatever you want in there cristal hennessy uh whatever cavassier whatever you want to put in there sip it right out uh looks like the tiki's in the tiki room the ones that start singing and shit there you go bam uh, i've been meaning to get one of those anniversary cups for a while that's not a figure i know i'm kind of cheating cheating you right now but you know i like it so anyway all right we're gonna go home can you see me i don't know if you can even see me on here probably not flat or, whoa i don't know what's going on okay um i don't know if i'm in focus but we're gonna go back uh to my home and i got some stuff there pimp style uh, live and direct, boom, boom, and you zoom, zoom, here we go, woo! Okay, yo, we're back, welcome back, uh, now back at my place where I live, uh, and now we're gonna show you a couple other things I got. First off, first thing you noticed, bam, uh, you got a legacy Megazord, you can see the box down there somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this just came out not that long ago, 20th anniversary megazord um i wasn't originally planning on getting this it basically they rebuilt the megazord toy you know it could combine into you know whatever it's got the five zords combined into one whatever uh and it's actually got die cast metal parts uh which is cool but there wasn't that many and i was just like you know how many times can i get a megazord and i already got like twenty thousand of them so i wasn't gonna get this originally but um, at Comic-Con when they showed the, um, Legacy Dragon Zord was going to come out, uh, there has never been like a re, they've never resold the Dragon Zord since the original, original manufacturing, whatever. So I thought, well, if it's going to combine with this shit right here, I better get that. So I went and picked that up. I had a bunch of credit, uh, at a store anyway, so it didn't cost me anything. Piss on it. All right. Anyway, so there you go. It combines. Obviously, all five Zords combined into one, die cast parts, all that stuff. I know this is very Ranger heavy, whatever, but did I show you this yet? I don't remember. That is Ryu Red, the Red Die Ranger. Um, if you never watched Die Ranger, you need to get that part figured out. <laughs> no, um, it was the series that, uh, uh, that they took the white ranger from in mighty Morphin power rangers they got footage of different rangers from different shows and the white ranger was from this show you never saw the red ranger uh because they didn't use the footage of the other colors only white so anyway uh but that this is the red ranger from that show again super posable uh you see you know posable in every way whatever um all right, let's check out a couple other things. I already showed you these guys, right? Red Jetman and Red Buster. I already did, right? Just checking. All right, anyway, uh, somewhere around here. Did I show... I can't remember. Did I already show you this? Unit 13. I don't remember if I did. Unit 13. Ava 3.0. Well, I haven't unboxed it yet, but where is it? Damn it. Bam. I'll just throw that down there, toss it down, whatever uh check that out unit nine that is also from ava 3.0 um mark nine uh haven't taken out of the package yet uh but as you can see there it is and let me just turn this over bam uh you could see that you got a big ass scythe uh can stand headless you know it goes headless that's what it does headless on a pile of skulls on a big ass base of skulls you can see that uh pretty badass i'm gonna open that up oh the big eye moves you can have a big ass eye congratulations there's your eye um or remove the head whatever you want to do you got options um put him on the bed of skulls looks tight 
looks like Gundam Death Scythe shit, so you might as well do that. Over here, we got another big one. Bam. Uh, I've been trying to get this for a while. If you guys remember, I uh, got a while ago the whoops Uti statue. You can see it back there from uh, Tiki Room in Disneyland. This one is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, this is Pele from the Tiki Room. The Goddess of Fire um, from the little garden outside the Tiki Room. This is a replica or whatever. Um, it's like wooden sculpture shit right there. Um, this one is hard to find. It's been sold out a thousand times. So, oh, there's uh, Raditz. Um, anyway, it's been sold out like a thousand times. So, uh, I made a, sp this is really lame, but like there was one night I was looking on Twitter and someone was like, oh, look what I found at Disneyland. And I actually drove up like that night, like Disneyland was going to close at midnight and I drove up at like 10 or something to make sure I got this. And it was a good idea because, hey, it was gone like a day or two later. So screw you. Anyway. All right. So here's this. Now we got this total change of subject here by the way i know it's a mess in here i'm moving again so it's you know it's going to be a wreck deal with it south park trick of trick of trick of truth stick of truth uh the game is coming out soon these are the kid robot figures they were selling these like a booth over from us at pax but i got the full crew you got stan kyle cartman uh you got wait you got um Hold on, you got, what did the, Stan the Warrior, Kyle the Haiju Elf, Carmen the Grand Wizard, Kenny the Princess. But for getting all these, they gave me some rare stuff. They were like, oh, stick around. We got something for you. And look what they got me. Oh, bam. Wait, you can't see it. Uh, hold on, I'm putting it over here somewhere. Oh, there you go. Okay, there it is. Oh, wait, turn around. All right, bam. Butters the Paladin. Come on. Come on. I got that for free because I got the other ones wheeling, dealing, always hustling. What else is new? So respect that or don't or go to the zoo. Anyway, all right. Okay, yo, what's happening? We just teleported back, and uh, you know what I wanted to show you, right? I mean, <laughs> this thing, <laughs> job of the hot. No, fuck that thing piece of shit tried to get rid of that like eight times no we're talking about oh what up what up what up sailor moon there it is bam figure art style baby oh what up what up official figure arts of sailor moon we got it uh this just came out like a couple days ago whatever um now you may be noticing, oh, what's that on our face? First printing of the figure or not printing, but whatever. The first release, first batch of them that went out have an exclusive winky face. You're not getting that now. If you missed out, you're done. You didn't get that. You're, you're, you're done. You're in the dirt. It also came with, wait, here's the box. Hold on. The box, uh. Shows some other stuff on it. I don't know if you could see that. Um, but there's some other exclusives on there. There's that face. Wait, hold on. There's, oh, Jesus. Okay, there's that face. You got her with the wand. You got her throwing the thing. You got her pissed off. You got her very serious, very tense. Uh, what it doesn't show on the box is uh, she also came with another exclusive face. It's her crying. So you can make her cry anyway, you know, like you want to, uh, everybody, uh, knows figure arts are super posable. No surprise there. Everything about it's super. You can, you know, move all around comes with a stand. There's like a heart shaped stand. You could see that. Um, now she did come with Luna, the cat, but you know, I thought Arnold over here was looking a little bit lonely. He's looking a little bit pissed, you know, not looking too good. And, uh, so we went ahead and I gave him Luna, you know, every, every, every hunter needs a friend, you know what I'm saying? So he's got Luna, thank God, you know, now he's doing all right. He's getting through it. Anyway, Vegeta still there. Got Vegeta and Sailor Moon on the shelf next to my desk. So I'm cool. 
Oh, did I did I point this out? I got the little vinyl alien there. Little alien dude. A little chibi alien. <laughs> anyway, there's all that. Shelf is looking pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Truly, truly a pimp shelf. Don't mind if I do. It shouldn't be going out of focus when I zoom in like that. Something's messed up. Anyway, there you have it. That's the end. Another good figure update. Uh, amazing. If you respect me, buy a figure, put, up, put it up on your shelf just like I do. If you hate me,